Hey what's going on guys, John here and welcome back to the channel. So today Apple surprisingly released iOS 14.4.1. Now this isn't a beta build or anything like that, this is the official build and you can go ahead and go on into your software update screen and you will see this update inside. Now what's the reason Apple decided to release this build so quickly just before releasing iOS 14.5 to everyone else? Uh, let's talk a little bit about that right here. So first things first, this update is going to be coming in at roughly 150 megabytes from what I can see, this is on the iPhone 7 Plus here. It might be different according to which device you own. But let's quickly jump on into the settings tab here, going on to general, going to about, and you guys will see the brand new build here with 14.4.1. Now, one thing I do have to warn you guys is this device specifically had to restore from factory to update to this build. I'm not exactly sure what the issue is, but it had to do it in the end. So as you guys can take a look right at the bottom here, we have the full available capacity back again. Now the chance of this happening to your device is very low so I do recommend going ahead and updating to this as soon as you can. So let's talk a little bit about what it is exactly. So this is a very important update because you see that they are releasing it so quickly and so close to iOS 14.5. So I think that Apple really couldn't wait for this to come out just because it is patching something very big. Now as typical Apple they never really disclose what it is they are patching. So uh, just quickly jumping on into uh, their notes here. They did say that iOS 14.1.4 and iPad OS 14.1.4 uh, fixes up some customer protection. This has a lot to do with the WebKit, so they went ahead and updated this for iPad OS, iOS, Mac OS, and Watch OS. So you guys should be seeing this across all of your devices, uh, which is really interesting. Again, this is so close to the release of iOS 14.5. And as you guys can see here, that 14.5 Beta 3 is available on all of my devices. If you guys haven't seen those yet, click that pop-up banner right up top there to see some of them running. It uh, does include quite a bit of new features so I do like that. But for those of you that decided to stick with iOS 14.4, you guys will see 0.5 sometime on the 22nd or the 29th. So all of those new features that you guys are seeing online or on this channel will be coming to your devices as well in the official build. Alright, so as I mentioned guys, there's really nothing new to this update. You're not going to get a quicker device or a better battery life or anything. Roughly 150 megs and that is to fix up some uh, of vulnerabilities underneath and I see that Apple's really on top of this so I really appreciate Apple for giving us this right before the next beta for those of you that are questioning when the next beta likely is going to be coming tomorrow so stay tuned for that video this should wrap it up for this one go ahead and update it if you guys haven't done so already this should be it once again peace out